So in today's video, we are going to take a close look at this PSP or fake PSP from a friend from China. I did some reviews about this brand YXD. And in my, I would say in my opinion, it's a very familiar brand. They are making quite some different device and this is a little bit older model. I was fortunate to pick it up secondhand from Marketplace over here. I was very happy to own it in my collection because I wanted to show you here. So the first thing that I already noticed with this device compared with, let's say, with the previous models, let's say the other fake $25 handhelds, this thing weighs quite heavy. This is more like, let's say, the heavy or the weight of the real PSP. This is something that's very surprising. But what you can see over here, let's talk about the layout because this is a little bit differently. We're having the D-pad, that's the same. And got four separate buttons, I really hate this design. And they did use the X, the square, the triangle and the circle. That's very funny. With back button, we have in here, this is the menu button. Select start have over here. And here we have the analog stick that is indeed dissimilar like the PSP. At the bottom we have a CF slot because this thing is based on Android and we can expand the internal memory. As you can see we're having this very nice logo, we're having a shitty camera over here. We're having two shoulder buttons so if you want to play PlayStation this is going to be a bummer because we need four shoulder buttons. Volume control, we even have an HDMI out, AV out, this is a USB mini for charging, headphone connection, there's a lot of stuff is going on and even a little port for charging. When you hold the button, we can power it on. And what you can see over here, there's a little tiny button. This is the reset button. Powering on, what you're going to see is of course the Android logo. So it's an old device and the first thing that I'm noticing is that it is using a non-IPS screen. Nowadays we're having so many great handhelds from China for example that have beautiful LCD displays. But this one is old and doesn't have it. Alright, so the Android version from EXD, I'm going to boot it up and I'm going to show you and yeah, what you're going to get if you're interested and maybe find one. Basically, this thing is running on Android and for people who didn't know, it's just the same like your phone, only an older version. Alright, as you can see, we can go here to the picture mode and here we can just unlock the system. A fun fact, when powering on the device, the first thing that I already get, the first thing that I'm seeing over here is that we are already having some emulators pre-installed. So that is pretty naughty and pretty funny at the same time. It's very hard capturing, but as you can see, the display itself works very nice. The touchscreen, it's all old technology, but at the end, it works. And here we have the shitty camera. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, nevertheless, let's focus on the gaming. And uh, this thing is running on Android 4, so it's very obscure. And the problem is with Android 4, for example, is that when you're using Android 4, you can't use emulators like PPSSPP, and maybe it runs, but it is very old hardware, so it will not run that kind of high end stuff. It's just for the old school stuff. But well, it's always a little bit of a shame with these older Android devices that the screens are also old and don't, oh man, they don't have any IPS screens inside of them. Most of them pretty damn cheap LCDs. They work fine, but as you can see, the view angle is pretty damn poor. So let's talk about the specifications of this old EXD PSP clone device. All right, so let's talk about the specifications and what are we going to get. So the brand is MID or is a factory that made this thing. So this is the model S5110. It only has 512 MB installed RAM and that is nothing, that's really, oh my god, that is very less than the previous models I've reviewed. Most of them have even at least 1 GB or 2 gigs. And the storage capacity, as you can see, let's see, available memory and external, external capacity, I entered in 32 GB. So that is a very convenient thing, but the internal storage is only 1 gig. So that is not much. So the thing is I'm running on Amlogic and that is basically a single core CPU that is running on let's see 1000 megahertz AM Gore-Tex A9. So if you look at the specifications this thing is freaking dinosauric prehistoric. The display itself is even an 800 by 480 and I must say the GPU is a Mali 400 MP, so that is not really bad compared with previous models I've reviewed from the same age. And here we have 60 Hz of a display. 
Let's check the battery. If we have any information here. It seems to be that the health is still good after all those years. And here you can see that there's a 3000 milliamp inside. But you can see the Android version is number 4.0.3. That is the ice cream sandwich. They call it like this, but this is a freaking old version. So what does it mean if it comes to playing games? Newer games will not be running anymore. And if you're looking at, let's say, emulation, maybe the old versions can be run on this. But if you want to run, let's say, Dreamcast, Saturn and PSP, that is out of the question. The sound is pretty good. It's a little bit of N64 and the problem is that we don't have all the buttons so basically a lot of these games are unplayable but you can already hear that the sound is a little bit off a little bit stuttering and it's mean that emulation is not perfect but N64 is always a little bit of a problem and for an old device like this the fact that it's even running that is unique Okay, let's see if we can... Okay, so it's basically the D-pad and that looks like they're the same. Can I move or... Okay, let's see. I can go back. And as you can see, this button is not met. There's a button. And I must say, surprisingly, it runs pretty good. Which was Mr. Beefcake Man! Beefcake Man is here. We have tried to end it. We have tried to solve this problem. But you don't want to listen. Beefcake Man! Beefcake Man is here. It's gonna work your body Gonna slip you in the face and gonna run and The GXD brand It's very known from China And I must say if you look at the quality in general of all of these products It's pretty decent And it's not to be compared with let's say the very cheap PS Vita knockoff or PSP knockoffs 
because the funny thing is you can find different brand versions that look exactly like this one of course it doesn't have android and it's not from gxd but at the end this is a very unique very nice quality product the pad is horrible and looks like it's pretty decent the buttons over here doesn't respond very well i need to press them very hard but if you look at the view angle oh my god this is very really bad and the resolution is very low very old android 4 so picking this up it's something more like a collectible value because there are so many ways you can play these old games nowadays so this is what you're going to get i want to thank you for watching consider subscribing i have so many handhelds coming here on the channel reviewing gameplays you name it there's a lot of stuff going on here